HPE has provided the domain service orchestration for hybrid network services of the Deutsche Telekom NIMS project. It has also worked with the telco and its project team to include orchestration in the NIMS CICD framework. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and to explain more, I'm joined by Rolf Eberhardt, who is Head of Orchestration, Communications and Media Solutions at HPE. Hello again, Rolf. Very good to see you. Can I start by asking you um, to tell us more about HPE's role in the NIMS project? Thank you for, for letting me join this, uh, this session. We've been doing three things in the project. First of all, HP is responsible for the MANO part, so the orchestration of the NFE uh, services running on top of the NFE infrastructure. Second, we're doing the domain orchestration for the IMS services meaning managing the services which are running on top of this platform. And then finally, we've, we've uh, worked with the other team members in making sure that we can integrate orchestration into the overall CICD chain of the NIMS program itself. So what was the motivation for HPE to join NIMS? And what's your opinion of the project's automation approach and the NIMS vision? When I, when I first met uh, Mr. Hills, it was, um, was an experience because he was clearly um, a visionary in terms of how to transform telecommunications. Uh, we've been hearing from, from many service providers that we need to become more agile, more flexible. And we ourselves, we've been running for, for years in our own software development process using agile methodology. Otherwise, you cannot, you cannot fit the needs of, of your market. And we, we saw and felt the same motivation and the same engagement in the project team itself. And it showed there was this brutal automation mentality and really moving forward to automate whatever you can, that we will be successful in bringing orchestration into a completely different level. And that was the reason why we thought NIMS, that's the place to be. Well, let's talk about orchestration, shall we? What, what is the role of orchestration within telecoms networks and how do you think it's going to develop? Um, in the old days, you know, like 20 years ago, we were talking about you know, telemanagement networks and, uh, and, and, and OSS, etc. And orchestration is the, the conclusion of a journey going towards automation of processes but also the automation of service modeling and decomposition and running this over any kind of infrastructure, any kind of cloud, any kind of application environment. And, um, and if, you, if you look at the last five, six years of orchestration, we've evolved at light speed. If you see where we started off with NFE infrastructure, now we're in containers, we're doing any kind of, of telecommunications applications and we're now managing edge and we're managing application environments as well it's going to be a matter of time we'll be doing a coffee machine orchestration that's i'm sure this is going to come in very soon just as business orchestration will become a hot topic so it's really the, the pivot the center point in a in a in a in a digital economy and that's why i believe um, I'm at the right position to have a very fun career. It, it, there's, there's certainly um, plenty of scope for us to, to, to develop. And uh, as you say, it, it's at the heart of, of what we're doing moving forward. Well, let's move on now to talk about the ecosystem that's being created around NIMS. You know, is this just applicable for an IMS voice platform or is it more suitable for a more generic usable model? It's definitely generic if if i look at the the entire team which which the the nims DTAC uh, project put together you know you, you have you have really built they've built a, a factory a production environment which is geared towards repeatability and extensibility um, all the way from the choice of software to the business processes implemented to the cicd framework around it definitely, definitely reusable. And otherwise, I don't believe um, telcos would be able to survive. If you, if you build bespoke software nowadays, you're, you're not going to make it. Change is happening so fast, you need to have it built into your DNA. And that's what NIMS is all about. 
Now, during the collaboration with Deutsche Telekom, you must have debated and discussed various approaches to the solution. Were there any elements that you agreed on from the outset and perhaps somewhere your opinions differed? The, 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 the collaboration and the way the teams were working together was um, very good. Uh, and that's really kudos to everybody involved. It's, um, it was definitely a very good collaboration approach. And, um, and if, you, if you look at uh, some of the aspects which uh, we, we appreciated in particular was uh, Christoph's uh, notion of the washing machine, you know, continuous, continuous improvement, making, making a change a normal part of your, of your everyday activity, be it on the software, on the infrastructure, on the service configuration side, and then continuously improving around it. Definitely something which, which was the right approach. Um, we've seen we've seen an evolution in all the the, the, uh, the team members you know in, in terms of of moving closer to being able to to support such a, a washing machine and and so i would say we we were very well aligned with each other um if i would have had a, a wish my wish would be that we we increase and that's not necessarily you know an issue for individual um, individual parties, but it's more of an industry push. I am looking forward to more machine readable specifications because the better we are able to formulate um, the behavior of our systems and the behavior of services in a machine readable way, the easier it will become to get rid of misinterpretations and, and difficulties in executing such a washing machine. That would be my my wish forward, and I think it fits very well with with what everybody in the team were thinking of. Is orchestration tied into CI/CD, or or is it also the basis for future cloud native operations? Um, it it CI/CD and orchestration belong together. It's um, CI/CD is is a, a continuous process. And if you look at the, the the more modern notions of orchestration, you, you you split into a design time where you define the services or the onboarding part and the runtime where you actually execute them. And these two motions they have to they have to be an integral part of each other. You need the CI/CD process to manage the lifecycle part of your configuration, and you need the orchestration part to execute these life cycles into the system. So you definitely need these two together. And if I look at, at the successful projects, I believe though all of these which, which consider these elements as, as one, they are the ones which move ahead. And the others which separate the two, it takes longer for them to be successful. Great, Rolf, thanks very much indeed for joining us on the program today. For the complete picture, on the NIMS project, please take a look at the other videos we have in this series. There will be seven interviews in total, plus two panel discussions that delve deeper into the Telco Cloud. And watch out for news of our live Q&A program that's coming soon. For now though, thank you for watching and goodbye.